trail. And so here we go. I purchased um, four uh, delphiniums, King Arthur, and they are, you know, they're pretty decent size. They're not big, but this is what I wanted to talk about also today is cost-effective way of purchasing flowers or plants. There is sometimes I pay big price for a mature plant that I really want, but a lot of times when I have a large garden and I need quantity of the you know big quantity of the certain plants it is the best way to do it for me is to purchase smaller seedlings like th this is not really seedlings they're actually quite big this one has is broken from the wind but you know i will cut this and then the rest will come out just fine but the, you know in one year they will grow to be you know pretty mature plants and it's you know i probably spend about two euro and uh, 50 cents, two euro 70 cents per plant. But usually for a mature plant, uh, you know, we will spend about 12 to 17 euro per plant. So for me, it's it works and it's really a great way to buy lots of plants and have them mature. We just have to be patient a little bit. So here we go. Um, so I have a block, three block nights and I have four King Arthur delphiniums. What I'd like to do is group uh, three block knight uh, delphiniums together. For example, right here, I have several hydrangeas in a triangle. So what I'd like to do is probably go in here and place two of the delphiniums, maybe one right here and one right here, and then one right there in a group, kind of like that. So I think this will do really well. And the one thing that I'd like to, uh, what I'd like to do before I plant, I'd like to place them first. I can go a little far, take a look at it and see if they are, you know, they're in a good place. That Do I like them? Do they look really good? And then, you know, I will come in and plant them. So I will go ahead and place the other ones. So I have four King Arthur and... Uh, I think this ones I would like to kind of drift them through and I have several campanulas also planted along the edge because I'd love I love the blue color when they start opening in the middle of the summer it will be just really pretty but um, I would like to probably plant one maybe right here to give the height and then one maybe right here i have two uh, delphiniums here already which maybe i'm not sure this one this one maybe right here would be better and uh, i have two left i have two delphiniums here so i will not get too close to them i'd like to plant one maybe right there and there is my <laughs> My baby, we call him baby. He adopted us. Not, we, he showed up to our place hungry. And uh, I used to come out and call him baby. And he just started responding. So he's our baby now. And uh, maybe one right there. I think that would be really pretty. And so that way, I think it will look really great when I start walking towards the arbor and I will have this pointy tall delphinium stick their heads up and it's just it will kind of guide you through which I really like that so I will go ahead and start planting now one thing about so here I already composted I just put lots of compost here in a planter so when i am already finished with compost usually what i do george you might want to show this from the close-up but what i'd like to do is just move the compost aside like that and what i'll do is uh, dig a hole the delphinium in and looks like it has a strong root ball I usually just tease them a little bit if they are quite strong looks like they've been in this container for a while so sometimes when you don't tease them they just go round and round and round and they don't really 
grow that well, but most of the time they do just fine. So I'll just place them in really well, cover the root balls, cover the, bring the dirt around the root balls really, really well, make sure they are covered fine. And then at this point, what I do is just bring all the compost that I pushed aside and just cover the bottoms like that. So that way they still look great. And okay, so several more to go. Hi, honey. You coming to help me plant? Yes, you do, huh? And while I'm planting this, I can mention that uh, delphiniums really don't like a lot of sun uh, as far as my knowledge goes. I think they really like a little shadier spot. Uh, they just do well with maybe morning sun, afternoon shade, or dappled sun. They just like that a little better. So this is a perfect area for them because uh, there's just not a lot of sun here, but we have a dappled sun. I think they'll do really gorgeous. Football is pretty strong there. Try to get out of here and go to the next one. And this delphinium, it looks like it got broken from the wind or maybe carrying in a car. Of course, they're a little tall and fragile. So at this point, what I'll do is just go ahead and cut them really quick because they're not going to recover. So all they will do is just basically dry out. So what I'll do is I will just cut right to the next leaf, for example, like that. Always remember, when you're cutting anything, it's better to cut to something, not just cut 
So here we go. All right. And uh, this delphinium will bounce back very quickly. So I'll just remove all the brown ones. It is the roots a little bit. They're very strong. It looks like they've been in this container for a while. I think they will grow really well this season. If they don't flower this season, they will flower the next season. And uh, But I'm really happy because I purchased quite a few for around, you know, what I could have probably spent for one mature plant, which makes me very happy. Delphiniums are really not easy plants to me. I have not, not had problems with them. If I have to, tra you know, transplant them, they still adapt really well and come out very quickly. So usually there's not a huge techniques in growing delphiniums. They're tough plants and uh, they just do so well. They are really maintenance free. The only thing I would recommend the first time they bloom in the summer, I'm not sure, I think it's June or early summer or midsummer. And uh, with, after the first flush of flowers, if you, uh, if you cut them down, they will flower again. So if, if, you, if, if, um, if they are trimmed well for after the first flush of flowers, they will possibly have the second flush of flowers. So it's really nice. We can enjoy a little longer season. of blooms. Okay, this one is in. I have one more here to plant. This one will look really nice right here. We have clay soil in, in this area, but uh, in France, but it's a very rich soil. It really is an amazing. I, it's, it's an amazing soil, honestly. Anything I plant, it seems like does so well here. Beautiful, beautiful soil. The only thing is, I have to amend them a little bit to get help them, um, help the plants to have a little more drainage. But other than that, it's a really nice soil here. Okay, here we go. We are finished with planting, so all I have to do at this point um, to go ahead and water them really well. With anything you plant, they need to be watered really well right afterwards. Water them really well. It definitely makes sure that there is no air pockets around the root bulbs for the old soil to settle in well. Continue to the next one.
other one I will go around. Okay, and here we go. So we'll enjoy the pointy flowers of delphiniums from seasons to come. Uh, they're very, very beautiful flowers. They come back every year. They're very long lasting. So they're one of my very favorite flowers. So, but before we end this video, what I would like to do is update you with my um, transplanted um, clematis, because um, if any of you watched my previous video, we transplanted clematis when it had a bloom on it. So what I'd like to do is just do a quick update to see how the clematis is doing, which we need to go the other way, the other side of the garden. And um, this is the clim Climata that we transferred from the very sunny spot in my last video. It's doing really, really good. It had a bud. I really did, uh, was very skeptical of, moving, of transplanting the, my Climata uh, while it had a bud on it, the bud formed already. But it's doing really great. It hasn't even lost the bit. It has a new growth coming uh, on the sides, side shoots. It's doing really great. As, and you, as you can see, I uh, planted the clematis and then I piled. First of all, clematis has to be planted very deep because they don't like their roots to, be in, um, uh, to, to get hot. So what I do is I, pl uh, I placed um, rocks around the root ball and also mulched it really well. And I, and I also placed some granules uh, for the slugs not to touch the clematis because it's very too small and it's they can devour this plant like very very quickly and so um, and there you go it's doing really great very pleased and thank you so much for watching this video uh, if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next video